So it's Sunday. I don't think I've vlogged at all today, but basically I've just been pretty chill. I went out last night with Lisette and some other friends after our barbecue, which I don't think I vlogged that either. Sorry. Um, but anyways, yesterday I had an AMA barbecue and that went good. We hung out, drank, chilled, relaxed, and then I went out later at night. Um, and that was fun. So that was yesterday. And today I've just been kind of like lazing around watching TV all day. I had a group meeting at five o'clock, six o'clock, and it's now eight. I just got back from that a little while ago and I'm making dinner. I'm making a soup. So I have my onion chopped up, a whole onion, some celery and a couple of carrots and I'm making kind of like a spicy meat soup. So I have my meat right over here and I'm warming this pan because I'm going to go ahead and throw my vegetables in there first to kind of get my vegetables going and then take them off to the side and put my meat in. So yeah, that's what I'm uh, doing right now. I'll show you guys, of course, while I'm doing um, my progress. Here's my process so far. I have my meat browning in this skillet. Um, so yeah, kind of skilleting that. I have nothing else in there, just the meat. And then I'm going to go ahead and drain the fat when I'm when it's done cooking. I have four cups of beef broth in here that I just made with my bouillon. And then in here I have my sautéed carrots, onions, and celery just kind of chilling on here over low with some oil in the pan. That's it. As soon as the beef broth's in there, I'm going to throw that in there as well as I'm going to throw all my tomatoes, my sauce, and Tabasco, beans, and all that kind of stuff I'm going to throw in there. As soon as I'm done, add the meat and then let it simmer away. So this is what I am working with now. Sorry, I'm like one-handing it, so it's kind of a little shaky. I have, um, I'll tell you what I have in here. I have my carrot, celery, and onion mixture. I have my ground beef that I made. I have my four cups of beef broth. I have... Oops, 20 ounces of just a pasta sauce. I have about a tablespoon or a teaspoon of Tabasco, plenty of salt. I have what? Red kidney beans, white cannellini beans, and then two things of diced tomatoes, two 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. That's what's in here and I'm just working its way. Um, and I'm just gonna kinda let it reduce and sizzle and it looks really, really good. I haven't added the pasta yet, which is something that I need to add, but I'm not sure if I'm even going to. I kind of really like the way it looks right now. So I'm deciding whether I'm going to add the pasta, but this is the pasta that I did get to add. I think I might just cook it up separately and add the pasta every time that I want it if I do want it. So that's my thought process. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of let this sit on the stove. I don't even have it on heat. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to kind of let this sizzle away on the stove and kind of like reduce and marinate and get all that good stuff in there. And I'm going to go ahead and take Bella for a little walk. So I just have been making my schedule for next semester. And I am making my bed. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, no, I don't know what I was going to say. My day is going really good. I don't really know what else to say. Besides, yeah, Bella's over there chewing on her bone underneath my blanket, of course. So I have to redo my bed. And, uh, yeah, I've just been hanging out, doing some laundry. It's been a good Monday. All is good. I booked me and Lisette's um, hotel for New York City, which I'm so excited about. We got a really, really good deal. If you guys have ever stayed in the Empire Hotel, um, I'm going there. And I was thinking about maybe doing a meetup, but just kind of like telling you guys, hey, I'm going to be here if you guys want to stop and say hi to me. That would be really cool. Um, but we're only going to be there for one day, well, one night. I think we're going to go Friday morning and then spend like all day, you know, Thursday. I mean, yeah, all day Friday, like around and then stay the night Friday and then leave Saturday afternoonish time. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. I'm really, really excited. It's like finalized. We're going to take a train from my house. Um, in New York, it's about seven hours from my house to New York City by train. And I figure train is the easiest way because planes are kind of more expensive. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, well, if we get a car, then we have to worry about parking it and all that good stuff. So it's just be easier. And it really, like, completes the whole New York experience by going on a train. So I'm super excited to do that now. I'm like, it's finalized. You know, like, when you, like, say you want to do everything, but then it just, like, never works? This one's actually going through. I purchased the hotel today so it is finalized and we got an amazing deal on it so I'm going to be in New York I believe the 18th or the 19th of December of course I'll tell you guys when it comes closer for sure but I'm going to be home in New York for about two weeks so I'm really excited about that happy Tuesday I just got out of class I feel like that's all I've been saying I feel like I haven't vlogged very much this week well it's only Tuesday 
but I have to go to work today and I don't really want to go. Um, I could have given up my shift, but I don't really have that busy of a day. Like I have a little bit of homework due tomorrow, but nothing crazy. So I figured I should just stick it out um, and go. So that's what I'm going to do. And it says I'm tasked. So hopefully I am tasked and I'm not just sitting in friggin' Betty's one line to shoot myself. So I am on my way to work. I don't want to work, but I've got to. So I just spent like the last three hours, two and a half hours talking to my dad on the phone. We can chat. We like take a while to talk to each other. Like we don't talk to each other like all the time. But when we do talk, we talk for hours at a time. My dad can freaking talk. And it was a really good conversation, so I'm really happy about it. And I feel like I'm getting more of an idea of what I want to do with my life. And he's supporting me. I have his support and other things. So I'm happy. I feel like we're able to talk about something because we're now having something in common, like our business, our drive, our motivation, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited. And I don't know, guys. Who knows what I'm going to be doing, you know, in a year from now. I might be back home. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to school now, and then I'm jamming out. But uh, yeah, I'm on my way to school, and um, what was I gonna say? I have gum in my mouth, and I'm always super annoying when I chew gum. So sorry if I'm like. Anyways, I'm on my way to school. I have a class, and then I'm going to work because the girl below Mike, Mike Jeffries, is the CEO of Abercrombie. And the lady below her, her name's like Bonnie or something, she's coming into the store today. So it's like a big deal. She's the girl that like, she's the lady that like, you know, gives the managers the promotions and all that good stuff. Let's, let's them, you know, seeing if they're, whoa, Heller. So anyways, there's construction going on. I don't know what they're doing. Am I going or what? I'm confused. Anyhow, sorry, these people are not constructing or leading traffic very well in the construction. So anyways, I have to go to class and then I'm going to work for a couple hours, either like three or four hours or however long she's there. And then I got to come back, change because I can't wear this to do a presentation. I mean, it's a tank top and jeans. So I got to like change into like a blazer and like a button up. I can still wear jeans, but um yeah so that's my day today and then i have strategic management and it's halloween so happy halloween um and i think i'm going out tonight um probably after class i love this song anyways i just got done with class and it went really good i got a 90 on my test yeah when the average was an 80 and i got a 90 so mm -hmm, i'm pretty happy about it <laughs> and I improved from my last test, which is what I always say. I don't think that you should compare yourself with anything but yourself. So if you did better than your last test, that's an improvement. Whether it was by a point or two points, you know, I believe that as long as you've improved from your last one, you're doing pretty good. So I improved from my last one, so because I got an 88 on the first one and a 90 on this one. So yeah, I'm so happy. Anyways, I ran to Walmart because I needed toothpaste, mouthwash, batteries, and makeup remover face wash again. so I did that and um, I actually called work to see if they needed me to come in and or if she was like showing up and she had already showed up and left so they didn't need me to come in so yay double bonus Jonas I can go home and chill out and uh, yeah that's that so I'm excited that I can go and um, I could go home and just chill out and relax and eat because I'm starving because I didn't have breakfast. So, yay! Hang out with my little baby wheezy. I've just been soaking my eye again because I feel like I can get a little more out of it. So, I'm doing that, watching American Horror Story, and eating my second thing of seaweed because I'm obsessed with seaweed. Halloween ready! Is your Halloween ready, pumpkin? This is, don't do this to me, Mom. It looks so pretty, though, little skeleton dog. Hey, guys. So I wanted to share with you what I'm wearing for my presentation. So I redid my makeup. Pretty neutral, basic, just winged liner. And my hair is kind of, like, curled and whatnot, just kind of chilling. My shirt is from A&F. It's just a checkered button-up 
blouse and then or like a plain you know shirt and then my blazer I love this blazer it's from uh, New York and Company and I just have them like my sleeves cuffed and my watch on and then I'm just wearing some darker jeans like some medium wash jeans and they're from Hollister and I just cuffed them at the bottom and put on my Target flats that I wear all the time so this is just my really casual we're just doing a little PowerPoint presentation. It's not like really casual. We didn't even have to dress up, but my group decided to dress like business casual. So this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I just went to Walmart. I went to class. I made it to class, of course. I'm really proud of myself the fact that I have not missed a class this semester. Like, I'm normally really bad about going to class, and I've not missed a, sem a class this semester. I think it it's really going to show in my grades because I think I'm going to do really well this semester. So, yay. And I woke up and I was able to register for all the classes that I needed and wanted. So, thank God I avoided so much stress that I normally do when I wait till the last minute to register and none of my classes are available. So yay, I was able to get into the classes I needed. I'm excited and lots good. And um, yeah, so I went to Walmart because I was starving and literally nothing sounded appetizing to me except for like bad food always sounds good to you and you're like a little bit hungover. So I bought mac and cheese, like the smoked cheddar mac and cheese. Uh, mouth's watering. And General Tiles chicken because that sounds delicious too. <laughs> and I was gonna make it, but then I was like, meh, too much stress, too much work. So I'm just going to go ahead and make one of the two, whichever one's faster, like now, because I'm starving. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna just hang out, watch TV. It's like one o'clock. I might go to happy hour at six o'clock. Um, depends how I feel and whatnot, but. It's friend's birthday and yada 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 so I'm probably gonna go out and I think Mike is actually leaving tonight to come to Tampa I what are you doing buddy I think that's the plan so um, I'm gonna talk to him and see if that's if he's leaving tonight or this afternoon or what what he's doing I have no clue but anyways hope you all have a great weekend and uh, had a great Halloween I had a really good Halloween I wasn't even gonna go out I was kind of like me I don't feel like it. And then I was like, you know what? Glad I went out because I had a lot of fun. Uh, me and Lisette hung out with uh, two of the grad students um, that are in my AMA club. And they're Spanish. So they're from Venezuela. Venezuela. At least one of them's from Venezuela. So really nice guys. And um, you can just tell their age and they're 24 and 25 I think so you can just tell with their age and their maturity level like a lot different than the typical frat boys that I go for so who knows what will happen but they're nice guys so it was a lot of fun hanging out with them last night I got my boogie on and anyways I'm oh, I'm done love you guys uh, I look like a green monster I'm hanging out watching Alice in Wonderland doing a face mask I think it's about time to come off and it's like 12.30. Mike's going to be here probably like late, like 6 o'clock-ish. So I'm going to finish cleaning up my house, brush Bella, and I want to like clean some spot out in my closet for him. So, y'all. Yeah. And eat. I'm hungry. Say hi. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. awkward. I know. Cleaning dishes like a real man. Oh, yeah, by hand. <laughs> Your mom will be so proud.